It's the second month since they left Egypt, and the people are complaining. They're complaining against Moses and Aaron, but Moses points out to them that they are really complaining against the Lord. The people are saying they wish they had died along with the Egyptians in the plagues. What fools we humans can be! God tells Moses about the bread he will send from heaven, but also that it will be a test. He will send it for six days. They are to gather six days and not leave any left over. And on the sixth day they are to gather double and leave half for the next day, because on the seventh day they will rest like the Lord had. Moses and Aaron tell the congregation that the Lord will give them meat to eat in the evening and bread in the morning. There's nothing in this scripture about where the meat idea comes from, but God keeps Moses' word, and in the evening quail covered the camp. The Lord says to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of the people of Israel. Say to them, At twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall be filled with bread. Then you shall know that I am the Lord your God. They still didn't know? None of them have a relationship with God. God speaks with Moses. Moses speaks to the people. How could they have a relationship with someone they keep complaining against, even if they are complaining to someone else? Is complaining and ungratefulness getting in the way of your relationship with God? It doesn't matter what or who you are complaining to, you're doing it against the God who has ordered your steps, who is working all out for good, who forgives and welcomes back, who loves and provides. Is he your God, or are you allowing something else to rule in your life? Next time you catch yourself complaining, realize you are giving that thing power in your life when you should be ruled by one alone.